definitely I enjoy pair skating more. I always loved being risky and uh, my mom tells stories about me being on the roof of the garage with my dad and you know her yelling at him get her down from there and I was like no I love it up here and jumping off things when I go skiing I always had to jump. Um, I've just been a risk taker my whole life. I, I love um, the challenge of scary things and uh, heights, I love it. And then when I did my first tryout in pairs, I, I knew I was meant to do that because as soon as I was put up in the air in a lift, I was just like beaming and I just loved that feeling of, of flying through the air, being thrown even. I loved it. <laughs> I just felt like, wow, this is a lot of fun. I don't remember much about the actual skate. You know, of course I was in the moment when I was doing it, but it was like a sort of an out of body experience in that, in the sense of like, I just was like, go. I wasn't thinking like I normally would have been thinking when I was competing. I used to think like, okay, my arm or, you know, keep your head here, or I would, I would think technical things. I didn't do it that day. I sort of just went. And I remember every time I'd land something or we'd finish something, I'd go, great, next, great, next, next. By the time I finished, it was just like, I can't believe this is over. And they always said that, like the athletes that had competed you know, previous Olympics had said like, enjoy every minute because it's over so fast. And so I remember standing there going, wow, my choreographer was so right. Like take this in and, and look at the audience and feel it and love it and embrace it. And so we did, we had our moment on the ice and it was really special. And of course, uh, we all know the story after we sat in the kiss and cry, uh, number two came up and everybody was really shocked. And it was uh, after that, it was just a complete whirlwind for us. We were being, um, driven around from press conference to press conference and uh, to TV shows. We were on Jay Leno twice. We were on uh, all kinds of talk shows. Uh, Larry King, uh, Rosie O'Donnell was talking about us every day. She said, I'm not taking this Canadian, you know, garb off until they get their gold medal. And it was all about the Americans were just, you know, all about us getting justice being served. And we, we were just laughing and going, well, we're okay. You know, we were in the middle of a scandal and it was ab absolutely bizarre and we didn't really understand it. We just knew that the French judge had been told to vote for the Russians and then we found out later that it was because the, the dance event did not have a French judge on the panel. They had a Russian judge and we had a French judge, not a Russian judge. So they did a swap and voted for each other's teams. Um, my only problem with that whole thing was that I said, well, why is the French judge only getting um, questioned and, and blamed for everything. I said we had four other judges that had a second. So then you find out later that they all kind of were working together and helping each other. So you know what? It's not the perfect sport, um, but we always knew there was politics involved our whole way up from the very beginning. But I just loved, I loved performing and I loved figure skating. The story ended up making us household names, which ended up giving us uh, a great pro career and we ended up getting some great endorsements from that and that was a really big deal being from Canada because it's um, you know it's such a difference being Canadian versus American and when you're an Olympic athlete you don't actually get any um, money from you know winning a medal or anything like that so it was a really really big deal for us when we got our endorsements and and uh, our career took off and we had a great 10 years as pros so you know, again, it would have been really special to win it outright the first night, and uh, I was—I I felt like that was the only moment I was robbed of was seeing our flag and, and seeing you know, Canada the first night. But um, you know what? We uh, we did the best with what we had, and and we made a, a not so great situation into a, a wonderful result for for all of us. I'm really honored that it's you know I'm. A part of history and I'm, um, I'm in there forever and it's really special it's a it's an honor and uh, as much as it was an honor to put us in there it's an honor for us to receive that and so um, I like driving by the museum when I'm going from Edmonton to Calgary or back home and I just smile when I drive by the building